the Poi Top 10 list, am I really going back to that well? Well, yes, but also no. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. Today, I'm going to share with you the names of 10 poi spinners whose work really stuck out to me this past year, because I think you should check them out too. But before we dive into all that, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links down in the description of this video. And special thanks to the non-business friend of the channel, Becca Bekkonen. Thank you so very much for supporting my channel, my work, and my mission. So quick context, for nearly a decade I hosted a regular feature on this channel called the Top 10 Favorite Poi Spinners List. People would vote for their favorite poi spinners by leaving a comment on a video I posted earlier in December. I'd tally up how many mentions each artist got and finally publish a video compilation featuring the top 10 finishers on New Year's Day. This project was also really controversial. Some saw me as encouraging more competitive elements in the poi community and or platforming people who engaged in a variety of negative behaviors. And you know what? A lot of the criticisms were justified. So I retired the list. But I also have to admit that I kind of miss learning about new artists every year, as well as potentially introducing others out there to new artists that they might enjoy. So I'm going to try something new this year and share with you a purely subjective list of my personal favorite poi spinners from the past year. And I'm going to invite y'all to share your favorites with me too. And so here are 10 poi spinners whose work I really dug in the past year. I hope you dig them too. Coming in at number 10 is Daniel Shkodiak, or Melon Man. He first came to my attention a couple years ago by uploading a series of buttery smooth videos on gunslingers that made me go back to the drawing board and work more on my own. Since then, he pops up regularly with a variety of fun combos and tricks that just make my jaw drop. He has an effortless command of momentum and super clean lines. Love his work and can't wait to see what he does in the coming year. Next at number 9 is Vanna Spears, or Aristocat. Vanna has also been a favorite for several years now. Her presentation of the manipulation style of poi spinning is really strong, and she creates really engaging and entertaining videos in general. Whether it's the fun characters she creates, or the way she integrates trending music or memes into her videos, she engages with social media in a way I find really impressive, and I think her ascendancy to poi culture ubiquity in the past two years is a direct byproduct of that super entertaining artist. Next up at number 8 is Jules Don or Skylosophy. Love his flow, but more than that, I love his musicality. He's one of those artists that I always make sure to turn on the audio for, because the way he accents the music he's flowing to never ceases to put a smile on my face. There are few artists in the poi world right now that I'd argue truly dance with the prop, and Jules is unquestionably one of them. Love his work and can't wait to see more of it. Next up at number 7 is Hector Garcia. I randomly ran across one of his videos in the Explore tab on Instagram and wound up getting sucked into his channel for quite a while afterwards. In the past couple years, I've definitely been finding myself more and more impressed with the speed and precision of glow stringing, and Hector's videos showcase that with a huge dose of musicality thrown in for good measure. I'm excited every time I see a new video of his appear in my feed. Super entertaining. And rounding out the bottom five at number six is Ava Frattini, or Et Dietz. I first came across her work in a video posted to Poi Chat and stopped dead in my tracks when I realized she was performing pirouettes with her poi. Not the rapid turns we frequently and mistakenly refer to in that fashion, but real pirouettes. After digging through her back catalog of videos, I found an artist whose interests seemed to wander down parallel tracks of exploring manipulation and also doing videos more centered on dance and exploring spaces around her. Like Jules, she's an artist that I find myself tuning into to see where we can take dance as an aspect of poi spinning, and I'm excited to see more of it in the future. Coming in at number 5 is Antonit Sema. In addition to his really awesome work with poi combos and exploring new tricks, one thing I really appreciate about Antony is the attention he pays to online education. His channel, Poi Tutorial Here, is consistently one of the best resources I've seen for teaching people poi moves that fall outside the box of what's considered the classical poi canon. Whether it's in-depth combos, patterns, or things that defy description, it's an excellent resource for those looking to get a leg up on contemporary poi technique. 
Next up, I'm giving my number four slot to Fumi Maru Hayashi, or Hayashi Maru 7. And my goodness, nobody has impressed me with gunslingers this much in ages. I didn't realize it until I went to look back through the videos that I'd saved in the past year, but he had multiple videos this year that came out that blew me away with how smoothly he treats his gunslingers. His fluency with them is so developed that they feel completely integrated into his flow. Nearly every other poi spinner I've ever seen that does gunslingers Slingers makes entering them into a whole production. Fumimaru Hayashi does his entries with such grace and elegance that I almost don't catch them. This is what I feel like all gunslinger flow should look like. And as we round the corner into the top three, I wanted to real quickly share a few honorable mentions. In no particular order, special shoutouts go to Masi Vemma, Feel Every Flow, aka Kristen Hagedorn. Young Shinobix, aka Socrates Duarte, Bow Juggler, and Voita Stalbenko. So, let's see who landed in my top three, shall we? Coming in at number three is a longtime favorite, Jan Jun Yu or Pum Pum Joe. This guy never stops blowing me away with his creative and outside the box approaches to spinning. He's one of the few spinners I've seen that creates a sense of drama and tension around his spinning, giving us a long, drawn out setup before paying it off with a rapid series of movements. One of my favorite videos from this year is a performance he delivered, and it's amazing to see him doing all the things that he's so good at live. I always wonder with some high performing poi spinners, whether they're actually as good as their videos suggest, or whether they're just giving us their best takes. With this video, we know for sure he is just that good. Number two, Swarup Shetty or Raw Flows. Straight up, one of my favorite poi spinners to watch flowing. In a lot of ways, he almost makes me think of older flow-centered artists like Michael Parisi in that everything he does has an unparalleled level of fluidity to it. Everything feels like it just fits naturally together like a glove. I sometimes compare transitions between tricks as seemingly like stacking together Lego blocks once you realize where the transition points are. Raw Flows is spinning transcends even that metaphor. Everything blends together so effortlessly that it seems like none of his tricks were ever originally separate. They were all carved from the same piece of marble. Now before I share with you my final pick for my favorite poi spinner of 2023, I have a favor to ask. If you've come this far, I'm guessing you enjoy the content that I produce. So help us both out by subscribing to the channel. It helps me reach new people and it means that you'll know the next time I upload a new video. It's quick, it's easy, and we all win. Thanks in advance. And finally, coming in at my top slot, my favorite poi spinner of 2023 is Dima Rabcevich, or iFezik. It's hard to know where to start with this cat, because honestly, I hadn't realized how many of his videos I'd bookmark to revisit later. Whether it's insane one-off tricks that absolutely seem to defy the laws of physics, flow videos with beautiful movement, or wild and wonderful experiments in editing, this guy had absolutely everything I could want in a poi spinner this year. And bonus points because he capped off the year with a video collaboration with Katarinka or Dekalisa that is now a personal favorite. I normally avoid 3-poi because it looks so painfully asymmetrical to me, but these two put together a fantastic snippet of choreography using 3-poi that, well, I'll be damned if it doesn't look dynamite. Congratulations, you two. You totally got me with this one. Well done. So there you have it. Those were my picks for my favorite poi spinners of 2023. I will leave links to the socials for all these artists down in the description so you can check them out for yourselves. Will I do a thing like this again? Honestly, I have no idea. This was fun for me, so let's see how the reception to this video goes, and we'll see about it next year. And finally, help me discover your favorite artists. Who would make your list? Leave their names down in the comments so I can check them out too. Thanks for watching, and have a happy new year. This video would not have been possible without my amazing supporters on Patreon. In particular, I want to give a shout out to my Flow patrons who are listed on screen right now. If you like the videos I create, the best way to support them is to likewise sign up to support the work that I do on Patreon over at patreon.com slash directsfactorpoi. Everything else I do to pay the bills from doing private lessons to consulting are things that take me away from being able to spend time creating videos like this one. 
So if you'd like to see more like it, please let me know by signing up. Thank you so much. If you'd like to see those old top 10 videos, I'll leave a link to a playlist of them down in the description. They are still an interesting little slice of boy history. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're flowing into the new year, and I'll see you with another video real soon. Take care now. Peace.